The summer of 1918, I read The Jungle and The Research Magnificent. That fall, my father died and my aunt took me to Chicago to live. The first thing I did was take a streetcar to the stockyards. In the winter afternoon, gritty and fetid, I walked through the filthy snow, through the squalid streets, looking shyly into the people's faces. Those who were home in the daytime, debauched and exhausted faces, starved and looted brains, faces like the faces of the senile and sane wards of charity hospitals, predatory faces of little children. Then as the soiled twilight darkened under the green gas lights and the sputtering purple arc lamps, the faces of the men coming home from work, some still alive with the last pulse of hope or courage, some sly and bitter, some smart and silly, most of them already broken and empty. No life. Only blind tiredness, worse than any tired animal. The sour smells of a thousand suppers, of fried potatoes and fried cabbage, bled into the street. I was giddy and sick. Out of my misery, I felt rising a terrible anger, and out of anger, an absolute vow. Today the evil is clean and prosperous, but it is everywhere, and you don't have to take a streetcar to find it. And it is the same evil and the misery and the anger and the vow are the same.